Let's talk about cash flow basics. Investing in a rental property often means doing a great deal of research. One very important aspect of the process is understanding how a property is going to generate cash flow from rental operations. You can perform a simple cash flow calculation to illustrate the potential of rental real estate as an investment. Here's how it works. And I'll use, by the way, a residential fourplex as an example. Let's assume that all four units are expected to be rented and that the buyer did her research and the property was a decent deal. Not a steal, didn't overpay, a decent deal. Let's start with the basic property and deal information. Purchase price, $325,000. The buyer put 20% down, that's $65,000, and she financed the balance of the purchase, um, and the, so the mortgage amount is $260,000. The mortgage is amortized over 25 years at a five-year fixed rate of 3.34%. The combined principal and interest payments are $1,276 per month. Property taxes and insurance at the time of purchase are $3,600 a year for a total payment of $1,576 a month. So that total payment, that monthly, is uh, mortgage payments as well as the property taxes and insurance. So now that we have the basics laid out, here's how we calculate the cash flow. Thankfully, in our example, the buyer expects strong rental demand for these units in the coming years, so they should all be occupied most of the time. Um, but just to be prudent, and I hope most of you do this anyways, um, we'll budget a 5% vacancy and non-payment rate. This way we model a conservative real cash flow. And by the way, the four units are all identical and they rent for $900 each per month. So the cash flow calculation breaks down this way. Gross rental income is 900 times four units every month times 12 months, that's $43,200 per year. Payments, $1,576 per month times 12, $18,912 per year. The previous owner's repair expenses averaged about $1,700 per year, so just for this simple calculation, that's what we're gonna use. Vacancy and bad debts are estimated at 5% of rents, so $2,160 per year. Oh, and the owner spends about $400 each year in various things like advertising costs, and she manages the property herself. So these are the basic operational items that go into cash flow calculations. Now let's look at our profits. The formula is rental income, less vacancy, and bad debts, of course, less payments, less expenses equals cash flow. So what are the numbers? 43,200 minus 2160 minus 18,912 minus 2100 equals $20,028 per year or $1,669 per month in positive cash flow. Now, as a disclaimer, I used really simple numbers to get the calculations across in an easy to digest way. If we were doing this for real, there are other numbers we might throw into the mix, such as closing costs when the investor bought the property, realtor's fees if she ever thought she would rent some units through realtors, etc.